Hi, this is Bill Watkins. For the last several weeks, we've been talking about pursuing joy, that at God's right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. In his presence is the fullness of joy. Psalm 16, verse 11. And we've talked about reasons that we ought to be pursuing joy. And I want to add one to it today by introducing it in this passage, John chapter 6, verse 35. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. I want you to notice that this is a parallel statement that Jesus is making, which was typical of Jewish literature. They Two things that mean the same thing, basically, but he says, whoever comes to me will not hunger. But then notice the next, whoever believes in me will never thirst. Did you notice how coming to him and believing in him are used in parallel ways? In other words, basically they mean the same thing. That coming to Jesus, believing in Jesus means the same thing. Now, with that in mind, I want you to look at another passage, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 24. Not that we lord it over your faith, but we work with you for your joy, for you stand firm in your faith. We work with you for your joy, for you stand firm in your faith. He didn't say we work with you for your faith, for you stand firm in the faith, but for your joy. Why? Because joy and faith go hand in hand. You pursue joy because when you live in faith, those things go together. Those are the things that work together. You would think that he says, we work with you for your faith, but no, we work with you for your joy. Listen to Philippians chapter 1, verse 25. Paul said of his own possible departure and his desire to do it, I'm hard pressed between the two. My desire is to depart and be with Christ, for that is far better. But to remain in the flesh is more necessary on your account. Convinced of this, I know that I will remain and continue with you all for your progress and joy of faith. Paul's ministry to the Philippians is for their progress and joy of faith. Do you see again that faith and joy go hand in hand? Pursue joy because when you pursue faith, joy comes. Pursue joy because joy and faith are inseparable. When you put those together, that's what it is. Joy accompanies faith. Now, I, I think you probably know this. Do you remember when you first came to Christ? And I'm hoping that you did. And by the way, if you haven't, then I want to talk to you about that a little bit. There was a man a long time ago who was on the road from Jerusalem to Gaza. You'll find his story in Acts chapter 8. He was a nobleman of Queen Candace and had been to Jerusalem to worship God. And on his way back home, uh, a disciple of Jesus met him, a man by the name of Philip, and he preached to him Jesus. He started in Isaiah 53, and, and from there he went on to tell the story of Jesus. And here's what happened. As they went on their way, they came to a certain water, and the eunuch said, Behold, here is water. What hinders me from being baptized? Philip said, if you believe with all your heart, you may. And he said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. They both went down into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. They came up out of the water, and the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip. Now, look at the next part of that. And the eunuch saw him no more, for he went on his way rejoicing. Notice what happened. He rejoiced. How about yours? When you heard about Jesus, did you believe him? When you believed him, did it make you want to follow him? When you wanted to follow him, did you recognize that part of following Jesus is to be baptized? Because this man understood that. He said, here's water. What hinders me to be baptized? And he said, if you believe with all your heart, you may. And he made a confession. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And then he baptized him. So he heard and he believed and he repented and he confessed and he was baptized, and as a result of that, he rejoiced. What about your conversion? Was it the same way? If it wasn't, maybe you need to go back and think about that biblical pattern that was for us right there and think about maybe making that change in your life, being baptized for the remission of sins, having repented from sins and confessed him before men. But if you are a child of God, do you remember what it was like when you came out of that grave of baptism? Do you remember the joy you felt? Well, that joy hasn't gone away. Pursue it again. You'll find it. Joy and faith go hand in hand.
Thanks for watching.